Hey everybody, it's Tamika, and I am so excited to be able to share a project with you guys. Um, Luisa Diaz, who is the owner of the online digital shop Kitty Scrap Post, as we all know. If you don't know her or her awesome digital paper, I will put a link in the description box to her store where you can see all of her fabulous creations. And um, she had asked me if I would be a guest designer for her for the month of November, and I was so super excited to play with her papers. I have a couple of hers anyway that I had before so she asked me to play with um, tea with Teddy which I have been using this paper um, here and there like for the month of in October here and there in projects and you'll see one of the ones that I used it for but uh, I really really love the shabby paper I, I um, love the shabby chicness and the versatility of you can go with boy you can go with girl um, anyway here let me show you the paper so I printed out two sets. So super excited to share. Look at this, and this is eight and a half by eleven, printed out on sixty pound cardstock. So this is how it comes out, which works very well. So that's one sheet. It's like a purpley, and then this one, so shabby. Love it. I'm not even a huge purple fan, but that purple paper is pretty. There's some blue, like it looks like wallpaper almost, with beautiful shabby roses. Ah. So, so pretty and this is another one and then here are these gorgeous large roses love love it here's another blue coordinating one it's kind of reminds you of like a cottage chic type some blue and red patterns this is like a green and uh, blue cute and then a pink and green, light, light green color. And then she's included some die cutting. This is a folder, and you just fold it in half at those dots. But it's a file folder, in case you wanted to make a meal. And then look at these cute cuttables. They're gorgeous. It's a, a banner. It says bear hugs, because it's tea with Teddy. Very vivid images, I'm telling you so sharp images very easy to cut I fussy cut all the ones that I used out myself teacup look how real those teacups look super 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 cute love it love it and the teddy bears you gotta love the teddy bears and teapots look at them they're so cute and they look so realistic super cute and then there's another um, of the folders in the two different pattern. So you guys check out Louisa's store. Um, you will love this um, collection. And again, it's called Tea, Tea with Teddy. So check it out. Link will be in the box below. Okay, so let me share with you what I created. <laughs> of course, you can't see it right now. Oh my gosh. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous embellishment box. So. And for the basket, all I did was tie some um, um, fabric around it and glue it in some spots and then make this super cute lace bow with a button I got from Joann's. So that's the basket. And I'll show you pictures at the end so you guys can get a better view. But let me tell you what's in the basket. It's super cute. So I, uh -oh. I used um, or cut out a mason jar tag using the paper collection see the gorgeous paper and then I altered some really tiny dominoes and added one of her die cuts look how real these die cuts look I'm gonna zoom in okay look how real these die cuts look so cute and then there are my dominoes I used uh, the tiny dominoes from the Dollar Tree and then her paper all those are her paper and then I added some tiny little roses from Wilder Crafts and a little bling trim and some of course gypsophilia flowers but look at the gorgeous paper on these dominoes great great embellishments super cute so I made um, those I also made these gorgeous boxes this box these boxes are filed from my silhouette cameo the silhouette cameo online store but um, super cute and then the boxes are um, what's in here this happens to be spools so you just cut that there but I tied some tulle around it 
a little chipboard piece and a button that I added but look how pretty this paper is so cute with that tool shabby chicness I love 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 it it looks really cute in the box and I made another one this one I have beauty with another little die cut and a button but just love the paper and I forget what's in here oh, I think these are um, I forget what's in here clothespins or something cute cute little embellishments they are so pretty okay and then I made this um, super cute envelope look at the paper and then this is on her die cuts like a ribbon banner and I'm gonna move out I feel like I'm just now too close and then this chair I popped up on a dimensional and then this cupcake I popped up on a dimensional so you can see that and put a little diamond in the center super cute embellishment really really cute and then this is supposed to sit like that look how real that rose looks and all it is is just some a tag but I put that out there like that super cute gorgeous gorgeous paper made a little paper bag and then I made a cute little cracker box and um, of course it's a file that I used and then I have that cute little tea embellishment that standing teacup the diamonds on there super cute and some um, some uh, roses or some flowers cottage roses super cute I fussy cut all these by hand guys this is all by hand and then I made some altered bottle caps look at the banner look at the presentation super simple but this says hugs and I just fussy cut the banner out and then I made two bowls out of some scraps from the paper collection and then put them on the corner of the banners look at the pretty paper and then I put the paper of course is on the bottle caps look at the gorgeousness all different bottle cap I mean all different paper collections and then I added some roses and another little um, bling trim just to correlate with the whole collection and look at the bottle cap and then I so so pretty with the bottle cap epoxy sticker on top great embellishment and they're all just on pop dots great embellishment to have in your stash cute on cards okay I also made a couple cards just some quick and easy you know you need a quick card that's an embellishment I added one of the roses from the collection on top and this paper um, card base is from the cutting cafe and there's one more here another just flip it open quick card with the bow and one more same scenario just cute little um, things to add to your box Oh, I did one more. Okay, that's the last one for sure. <laughs> I made four of them. Okay, and then you guys have seen these altered hearts. If you haven't, I will put the video link in the description box. So you guys can check it out. But all of this is her paper. And I show them in detail on that video, but I will pull them out for you. It's all her paper. There's the pink, the green and yellow paper, this gorgeous purple paper, and the blue and pink. I washed it down with some uh, paint to give it that shabby look and there's the other set let's just open it up see the pink paper is so 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 pretty oh total shab love it and then played with some um, paper clips with the collection I was just going rampant. I really, really like this embellishment box. But look at the presentation. It's her cute little bear. Fussy cut that out. Okay. Just attach it to the top. So that when you're giving like this embellishment box, things poke out the top and it looks eye pleasing. And then I just cut out some more, uh, just a die cut I cut out with the paper collection, her paper collection. And then I just added shabby paper to these tiny little clothespins. I also added um, topped it with glossy accents and glitter. As you can see, so they have the shab, 
shabbiness going on. Love it. People could use these clothespins on their cards or what have you. Here's another little cute little gorgeous teddy bear. So adorable. And then this I made um, a shabby rosette. So that's the paper We're sitting on the background with the paper. And look at the rosette. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So pretty. I made a shabby rosette with a uh, cameo or silhouette file. That's how it looks. And look how the paper is gorgeous. Gorgeous shabby paper. Gorgeous teak, teak pot. Used a stick pen from my stash, some of tool, uh, some more of the paper, and I put lovable with two blings on the side, and then it's hanging some uh, with some crystal dewdrops, teardrops. Love how that turned out. That pop, that tea is pop dotted up, I and mean, it adds a beautiful focal piece for like a card or a mini album. Absolutely love it. Love, love, love that shabby teapot. Okay. And last but not least, I made um, get the cute little um, basket of roses, and I just have some gorgeous bows tucked in uh, a vellum envelope. Great way to present, like present, just to add some of that stuff to the top. Just pull those out. It's just a regular vellum envelope, and look at the shabby bows from the paper. Love it. So, so, so pretty. So cute. Love, love, love how that turned out. And again, I just cut it out, put a diamond piece in the center. And then here's the inside of the basket. You guys can see. And that fits in there perfectly. So, um, yeah, you guys be sure to check out uh, Louisa's store who is uh, Kitty Scrap Post on Zibit. Check the links in the description box to see this gorgeous uh, paper collection in full force and um, be sure to give her some love. I'll put her Facebook below so you guys can sub her if you like um, and her YouTube channel so that you guys can see all the upcoming uh, paper and things that she has coming out. She does a full uh, view of her new kits and things like that. So be sure to check it out. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Like if you like it and leave a comment. And let me know what you think. Bye.